Hey guys, what's up? It is me, NoobTube, from NoobTube Walkthroughs, and I'm here just to give you guys, like, some suggestions slash predictions about Pokemon X and Y, and I think some of my predictions are going to come true because I, I, do, I just think so. You know, I just have really good faith, and I could use, like, some information about it, too. You know, feel free. These are just my opinions about predictions and stuff. Feel free to disagree. You know what I mean? Um, so, first, you know, we got exclusive Pokemons. There's always exclusive Pokemons in every fucking Pokemon game. And the next exclusives, you know, these aren't legit Pokemon. These are just fan-made stuff. But I'm, I'm predicting there will be exclusive Pokemons like there always is. And this is just, like, cool fan art of a psychic type and a ghost type. So, something like that. You know, they had it in black and white. You know, exclusives and EV evolutions. Pokemon has never released just one EV evolution by itself in a Pokemon game ever before, right? So what I'm predicting is they let Sylveon out out of the box, right? They're waiting later on to give out the second one because they always put Armbrion, Espeon together, right? Uh, Leafeon and um, Glaceon together. They're always putting EV evolutions together. They're never separating them. So be on the look for a second EV evolution coming out soon. And this is a Pokemon I like. It's kind of like a Blue Jay kind of thing. Uh, it's like it kind of goes hand in hand with um, like a blue, a blue, a Blue Jay and like a Red Robin kind of birds and stuff. I, 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 and that's like the Blue Jay's evolved form right there something like that and I, they should really like let out pokemons like that blue jay pokemon they never really had one like that they've just been letting go of pigeons and stuff and what we do know about pokemon that is soon to be coming is there's always fossil pokemons in the game so these are two fossil uh, fan arts that i that i got off the internet yeah just two little fossils but um we do know there will be fossils and getting into the baddest Pokemon ever that I love that are just so cool that they should have as real Pokemons. That something to compare to like Tyo, I mean uh, Tyranitar or or Agron or something is something like this. Tell me that is not badass Pokemon. That is a real badass Pokemon. I mean, it could really like I see, I see it being either Dark and Steel or being um Steel and Dragon, something like that, because it is really badass. And this is a cool Pokemon that I found on the internet. It's like a shark Pokemon with like chains and stuff. And this is the second coolest one that I saw. I'm either thinking that it should be Steel and Water, and its weakness is Fighting, or Dark and Steel, something like that. And this is like to go into like Ice Pokemon is because. There is this myth that's going around that is like uh, the whole XY is based on like Norse mythology or something. I'm going to put it in the link in the description. You can watch it. It's by this cool guy named Yellow Suelo. He's pretty famous on YouTube. But I'm thinking that if they're like in the, if they're like in Scandinavia, it's pretty cold. So there's going to be like a lot of new ice Pokemon. This is just one of them, which I think is cool. And this is like a... Wolverine Pokemon or something. Its first form is kind of scaryish, you know. I I guess it has to gain courage or something, something cool like that. And it's like thunder and ground or something. I don't know. And this is a real cool Pokemon that that I think that will probably be in there. Is like they always have like Electrode or like they had a new Pokemon Black and White. I mean, they're gonna have to have to do something like this, which I predict that they might. Like either Electro evolving. Or a copycat of it that's just like an evil Pokemon or something. I mean, this is cooler than Electro because it actually looks like a full Pokeball. It got the little nose thing too, which I think is cool. So that's one. Of, that's another prediction that I have. And another prediction is this right here. Is they have to make like a new Porygon somewhat something. You know, like a new Porygon replicate or something. Because Porygon evolved all the way to like they had Porygon 1, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. Pokemon only evolved three times. So they have to make up something new for it. So I'm thinking either it's going to be something like this, you know, a, a Porygon wannabe or something. Or um, 
electric ghost or something. And this is like going back to the whole Scandinavian thing or whatever. Like they're gonna have some cool ice Pokemon. That's all I predict. That they will have a bunch of cool new ice Pokemon. They're not gonna be like no little ones that we saw. They're gonna be actually big and tough. You know. And this is a cool Pokemon that I saw. Well, the Pokemon itself is not cool to me. But you know what is cool though is um, the ability that I think some new Pokemon will have in the new generation, which is to. Um, grow berries out of themselves or something out of their heads or their hands and you just pick the berry as an item off the Pokemon you know like pick up or something but with berries and stuff and the berries would not be like regular berries I think they would be like new berries because they're new region and stuff so that's my prediction and I think Sabley should really evolve into something cool you know that's just my prediction and um Another thing that I predict, they will have, like, a bunch of new special abilities or something like that for grass Pokemon. I think they should have a grass Pokemon, you know, with the with an ability like um, Suck Up or something. Like, if, like, um, I, I predict Chespin having this ability, actually, because I see it as being a ground in grass Pokemon. If it gets hit by a water move, it should be able to heal from the water move. And the next attack that it does would be stronger or something, you know, not heal or it would just take damage from it and then just make the next move stronger. Because, I mean, you're watering fucking grass. It should be able to do something or heal you or make your next move stronger or something, you know. That's just one of my predictions or something. Yeah. So, you know, feel free to disagree, write comments or something in the bottom, you know. I'll read them, see what's up. So, thank you guys.